Here in Fountain Fort Carson School District 8, we use an evidence-based grading system, which may look different from the grading system you had as a child. We've created two videos that explain our grading system, the problems with traditional grading, and the why behind grading practices at FFC 8. Links to those videos are in the description. To enhance our evidence-based grading system, we are introducing a new way to view our students' grades. Instead of using Infinite Campus for interactive report cards, you will now access them on otis.com. Today, we will walk you through how to use Otis. You can access the website in several ways. A link will be available here in your IC portal. The link can also be found on your school's website under the Parent Resources Dashboard. We recommend you bookmark this website for easy access. Once your kids are registered for the school year, you will be able to link them to your Otis account. You'll need a student number unique to each child. This information will be available through your child's school. Your first time logging into Otis, you will select Create Your New Account. Then select Family as your user type. Click Continue and fill in your first and last name and a phone number. Then click Continue and enter your email and create a password. Once your account is set up, you'll start on this home screen. To add a student account, click the My Student button on the left sidebar. In the top right corner, you'll click on the Add Student button. Next, a box will appear for you to enter the student code and choose your relationship to the student. Once you've entered the information, click Done and you'll see your student listed. If you have more than one student, repeat the process. When you log into your Otis account, the Gradebook module will appear as your landing page. You can also access this section by clicking the Gradebook icon on the left sidebar. The Gradebook will give you a snapshot of your students' learning, including what classes they are enrolled in and standards mastery. To switch between students, use the drop-down box at the top of the page where your students' names are listed. For more detail, click on any class to go to the Assessment view of the Gradebook. This page tells you everything you need to know about your students' assignments, including assessments, homework, quizzes, and projects. You can view the due dates, when it was submitted, the submission type, whether it was later on time, and any teacher comments. You'll quickly be able to see exactly how your student is doing and how you can best support them. You also have the option to view the standards your students are assessed on here. This is the breakdown of skills that a student is doing or learning throughout the day. What you're going to see here is a progress bar. Red indicates limited mastery, yellow indicates partial mastery, green indicates adequate mastery, and blue indicates sophisticated mastery. The numbers by each bar are the number of attempts your student has made for each standard. You can click on the bar to get an in-depth look at each attempt. If you have questions about what each level means, or how your student's level is determined, reach out to your school or your student's teacher. You can filter what you see in the gradebook by standard or assessment. To filter by assessment, select the drop-down and choose Deselect All. Then select the only assessment you'd like to see. To view by standard, select the drop-down and choose Deselect All, then select the only standard you'd like to see. Next, let's navigate to the Activity tab on the left sidebar represented by a bell icon. The Activity page has a notification feed for class activity and a to-do list of all current and outstanding lessons and assessments. Assessment notifications will be generated when a student has been assigned an assessment or when an assessment has been graded. Think of this as a notification center for the learning occurring in each class. Next, let's explore the Reports module. Found on the left sidebar and represented by a paper icon. This module will show you third-party data that is available for your student. This data can include district, state, and national level assessments. 
We hope this video has helped you learn more about how to view your student's gradebook. For additional support as you navigate the gradebook, a help center is provided. This can be found in the lower right hand corner of your screen. If additional assistance is needed, contact your child's school. A few additional resources can also be found linked in the description of this video.